Man United have blockbuster transfer plan as Qatar bid becomes official. The Qatari bid hoping to land Manchester United in an eye-watering £5 billion purchase will not go crazy in the transfer window at Old Trafford. According to reports, the Red Devils will have the funds to buy the world's best talent should Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani's formal offer be accepted. Al Thani announced on Friday evening that his bid to buy United had been made. The Rain Group Bank overseeing the process set a soft deadline of 10 p.m. on Friday evening for all offers to be made, with Sir Jim Ratcliffe and his INEOS group also submitting an offer shortly after the Qataris. The Qataris are reportedly confident that they can provide evidence that their bid is separate from the Sovereign Wealth Fund, but they would still have incredible funds available to transform the 20 times English League champions. Should Al Thani's bid be accepted, attention will turn to what United will do in the transfer market. They will reportedly not sign the likes of Neymar, Lionel Messi and Kylian Mbappe, and will supposedly not go crazy in the market. That is according to Sky Sports, who claim that despite United not wanting to sign the Paris Saint-Germain trio, they could become serious contenders for Jude Bellingham and Victor Osimhen should a takeover go through and will undoubtedly have more funds to spend than they did in January. Bellingham and Osimhen have been linked with United to solve their midfield and attacking problems, respectively. Qatar's involvement in PSG has seen Neymar, Messi and Mbappe all loosely linked with United. But it seems none of the French club's attacking triumvirate will make the move to Old Trafford. Al Thani, 40, is making his bid through his 9-2 foundation. A statement released on Friday evening said, Sheikh Jassim bin Hamad Al Thani today confirmed his submission of a bid for 100% of Manchester United Football Club. The bid plans to return the club to its former glories both on and off the pitch and, above all, will seek to place the fans at the heart of Manchester United Football Club once more. The bid will be completely debt-free via Sheikh Jassim's 9-2 Foundation, which will look to invest in the football teams, the training centre, the stadium and wider infrastructure, the fan experience and the communities the club supports. The vision of the bid is for Manchester United Football Club to be renowned for footballing excellence and regarded as the greatest football club in the world. World. More details of the bid will be released, when appropriate, if and when the bid process develops. In other news, Mason Greenwood secretly meets with teammates as he plots Man United return. Exiled Manchester United striker Mason Greenwood has secretly met up with some of his teammates in an attempt to rekindle relationships since his charges were dropped. A new report claims the Crown Prosecution Service confirmed that they would not be taking their investigation into the 21-year-old any further. This is after a number of witnesses withdrew and fresh evidence came to light. The People's Person reported that Greenwood is unlikely to feature for the Red Devils this season, pending the outcome of an inquiry being conducted by the club. Eric Ten Hag is also keen for Greenwood's situation not to distract his team during the second half of the season with United still battling on all four fronts. United will consult leaders from both the men's and women's teams to gauge their receptiveness towards a likely return for Greenwood. According to The Sun, Greenwood has held secret meetings with some of his teammates for the first time since his charges were dropped. Some of his colleagues include those he has shared a dressing room with since the academy. The Sun relays, he's reached out to some of the United players, some of them he's known since his academy days. They've met up with him in private to hear him out so they can make their own mind up. Greenwood also reached out via social media to other teammates, some older and married with kids. The Sun adds that a source revealed to the newspaper, there is a level of sympathy for someone who is innocent in the eyes of the law and a long-standing teammate. Despite these endeavors by Greenwood, the players remain absolutely focused on winning games and producing top-class performances on the pitch. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.